Hey y'all, it's Diana B coming to you once again. I know it's been a long, 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 long time. So much has happened since the last video. The last couple videos were just reviews on my home studio and getting all that equipment together. Um, a few different updates have happened. Um, some different shifts at work. Um, I'm moving. Uh, just just a lot a lot a lot like life right but I wanted to make a quick video because I am on my way home from my last shift at Massage MB in the Auburn location I'm the one that actually called and asked them um, if they had any positions open they did so pretty much I did all that work they ended up getting my talent and I started out with a really low base um, in 90 days, it said it'll give you 50 cents more or something like that. Anyway, um, I wanted to give like a little bit of a review uh, about the process. Um, why I think it's a good idea for new massage therapists and why um, I'm leaving now. So I told you guys just to recap, if you've not watched any of my videos, um, I went to school in May, finished my uh, curriculum in July, finished my 100 hours of massage, hands-on massage in October, took the Emblex, passed it the first time in November, and got my uh, license in December. I started Massage MB in February. And now this is end of May. We are on Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day is, I believe, Monday. So uh, the first thing is, why would you want to go to Massage Envy? You hear about, you know, the claims, you know, uh, with, I don't know, foul play in terms of maybe some of the workers. You hear about the low pay. Um, you hear about kind of, you know, the churning of, you know, back-to-back -back massages. Um, but I would like to say for the new massage therapist, it's a great, great place to start. Why? Well, I'm probably going to say I'm a little bit different than, than, than the average person. The average person is not going to say anything about them going to school. They might mention it, people that they know they're gonna mention that, hey, I'm going to school, but they're not gonna promote themselves like I did. I, everyone, everywhere I went, um, I told them I was going to school and I, you know, ended up doing some things in the in-between time, did some massages, got some experience, got equipment, got a table, I got everything. The table, the chair, the sheets, um, just, just so many things that I got while I would scrubs uh, while I was going to school but for the average person maybe they don't have equipment maybe maybe they didn't do any of that maybe they didn't say anything that they were going to massage to different people that were outside their friends and family uh, maybe they didn't buy any equipment okay so I'm saying I'm different in that that mode so for the average person that just goes to school uh, it's a great place to start I told you the timeline right that I that I went through school did the test after you finish the Mplex you are completely exhausted you're not <laughs> you're just completely exhausted so try if you're gonna go the business route right off of the cuff then you have to either you know get a place rent a place have your equipment get your EIN, your business name, all of that, all of that, which that takes money, that takes time, maybe you're full, maybe you're part-time, maybe you're full-time, I don't know what your situation is, but for me, it was a part-time side, hu side hustle, so for me, you know, it, it, it's a little bit different, a lot of people go to massage school and they want to do that full-time. Will I ever go full time? Hmm. I have some other things on the horizon, which that'll be another video. 
uh, I don't expect to be massaging people while I'm, you know, 60 and 70 and 80. I'm sure that there's people in their 60s that are still giving massages, but that won't be me. Why is it good to start at Massage MB again? I'm coming right back to the point. And you have to pardon me because I, I'm leaving. It's my last shift. I'm tired. I was up late yesterday, got up, and I did an 11 to 4 shift. I had four massages scheduled, one canceled. And so anyway, the reason you want to do that is you want to get your chops you want to get your massage body together you want to get the experience they will take you straight out of school they will hire you you'll have some experience you'll get to know and meet different people you'll get your routine together because there's going to be a time from the time that you stop massaging with in my case it was 100 hours and then to the time that you take the mblex and actually are able to practice that there's some time in between there so it will allow you to keep that experience going on okay so that's number one uh, you meet different clientele um, they have all the materials you tell them hey I want to work this I want to give me 15 minutes in between my appointments you it's flexible in that they just let you do what you need to do and they leave you alone. You don't have to do any particular uh, sequences. You just do your job and that's it. That's all. And that's nice. Um, so I think that that's a great place to start. But why you do not want to stay there? Well, let me, let me go along with the also what do you have to do to get involved the course you have to do your application they go through this little questionnaire is maybe like a five page questionnaire that the manager will uh, go through and then and then they will um, have you do a practical massage um, they and so and so you have to take literally I would say uh, some hours online going through um, their enhancements, you know, what they offer, like, you know, the, um, the aromatherapy, the stretch, the, um, the, the revolt gun, massage gun, um, draping. So great information, great information, but it's a lot, a lot of online stuff that you have to do before you even get on the floor. So that was a little bit tedious. Um, sorry, I'm not looking, I'm driving um, and I'm tired. That said, so that's the process. Why you don't wanna stay there? <laughs> because they just don't pay enough. They just don't pay enough. Unless you're, you're doing it full time and you just don't wanna be bothered with anything. For the person, that has uh, doesn't have to make that much money. They want their autonomy. They just want to go in, get their little, get their little money, and get out, get on, get off, get whatever. It's great. It's great. You don't have to right. You just have to make sure you do a few certain things. But outside of that, easy peasy. No one bothers you. You just go get your massage oil. You get your all your equipment. You get your little T-shirt, and you're off to the races. But I don't know if I start at $16.50 or $17 per massage hour. That is, and plus tips. The lowest tips I got was maybe $5, well, zero. I, I think there was some times that people just didn't tip because they're on membership. So, um, so we'll say from zero and the highest tip, the biggest tip I got was um, uh, $30. But it gives you experience. It gives you experience. So, um, but now that I'm at the spa and I'll, that's a whole nother video that I'll talk about with that. Um, I get paid literally, I want to say twice as much and I work in an upscale, uh, situation at an upscale spa at the Marriott. Um, I'm learning, I'm learning different techniques i'm learning the spa treatments 
um, some of the little smallest minute things that you wouldn't have thought about. But if you go straight from school to your own business, first of all, you're not going to see what's out there. You want to be able to see what's out there. If I was going to have a hamburger stand, I would, around my area, I would find out uh, what they did. If they put lettuce, onion, tomatoes, if they did it on the side, if they did small pickles, if they did, right? I would look at what around me, what does that look like? How do they do this professionally? What What's the equipment that they use? What's the lotions that they use? You know, even to the head cradle, to the sheets, how they flip people over, what is their protocol? Um, like at Massage Envy, we had a little pad, we took um, soap notes on that. Um, so anyway, uh, it just didn't make sense. I'm driving 36 miles. It takes me maybe close to 40 minutes to get there. With the gas, I'm only doing what? Um, anywhere from two to five massages. It just didn't make sense if I'm getting way more somewhere else. Not to even talk about the other opportunities that I have so um, I would give it I wouldn't stay there beyond 90 days six months that's like if you just still trying to get your things together cool but um, great people co-workers great atmosphere great the equipment everything hydraulic a table that's all good they just don't pay enough um, for the demand that we have for massage therapists there should be just you should not there should be a level of what you'll take and what you won't um, there's just too much money more money if I'm gonna be sacrificing my body because it takes time and energy I'm I'm gonna get instead of say for example getting maybe 25 to 40 dollars at the top i would say 30 why not get um you know 60 to 80 at the spot this doesn't make sense right but anyway i am almost um to my destination my energy is low i'm already kind of um pretty much in town um but I will give you, I will keep you guys a quarter of a mile left to abreast of US everything else that's going east. on. I just wanted to let you kind of give an update because I haven't been doing videos because there's next left onto US Sorry, 80 guys, east. Uh, different responsibilities at the job. Um, I'm working. Um, I was working massage MV one weekend, then the spa the next weekend. Um, I signed up for Zeal. I haven't done the Zeal just yet, um, but that that's a whole other video. Um, plus, I was doing massages on the side, and um, I have an upcoming opportunity um, going on. And, of course, I'm active at church, so it's uh, busy. And when I tell you that the Georgia endorsement process has been a nightmare it's been horrible i don't think that they really want massage therapists in the state of georgia much less in in columbus that's a whole other video i will do Proceed a about video about that and the step by east. step process of what you need to do that do that um to, to get uh dually licensed in alabama and in georgia but until then use the god use the gifts that god 